Hello, everyone. Uh, today's topic is uh, women leaders. I actually find the employment of uh, women and women's management very important to productivity and success in business world. Because, um, because the fundamental goal of uh, human resources is the uh, utilization uh, of strengths, using them in favor of improving performance. Um, to achieve this inclusiveness, the coming together of different strengths and successful collaboration are the keys to success and uh, sustain sustainability, as we all know. Women leaders' contributions to the business world are vital, especially in terms of diversity, innovation, and leadership styles. The participation of uh, individuals from various backgrounds and different strengths not only promotes an ethical and equitable business structure, but also significantly enhances the creativity, problem solving, and innovation capacity of businesses. Diversity um, brings together different perspectives and experiences, helping organizations produce more dynamic and flexible uh, solutions to the challenges they face, as we know. The leadership style uh, adopted by women leaders tend to be collaborative, uh, we, sh we should say more collaborative and inclusive. These leadership styles ensuring that employees' voices are heard and valued encourage them to commit more to their work and perform better. Um, the importance uh, uh, of women leaders place on empathy and emotional intelligence can enhance employee satisfaction and team harmony in the in business world, in companies. Researches also indicate that the risk-taking tendencies and strategic decision-making approaches of women, women leaders, may differ from their male counterparts. Difference is power. This difference can help companies have more balance and comprehensive decision-making processes. Women leaders often with a tendency to consider longer term and sustainable growth contribute to the long-term success of companies. Long-term uh, perspective is essential for women leaders. The effects of gender diversity or on creativity and problem solving ability in the workplace have been truly examined in many studies. Leaders from different genders coming together offer a broader range of perspectives facilitating the emergence of innovative ideas and creative solutions. Particularly for companies that cater to diverse customer bases, the participation of women leaders enables a better understanding, more, more understanding, I should say, of customer needs and the development of products and services tailored to those needs. The involvement of women leaders in decision-making processes also significantly impacts companies. More inclusive decision-making processes allow for the consideration and inclusion of employees' ideas in business processes. This increases employees' commitment to the company and motivation, contributing to the improvement of overall organizational performance. 
The contributions of women leaders to business life not only create a better working environment within the company, but also enhance the competitiveness and innovation of companies in the market. Therefore, promoting and supporting women's leadership in the business world is not just a matter of equality, but also a strategic imperative for modern businesses. The barriers uh, facing women leaders span a wide and complex spectrum and include both individual and structural factors. Uh, gender, uh, gender prejudices, the first one. Social gender uh, uh, prejudices can make it difficult for women to be perceived and accepted as leaders. Prejudices can lead to misconceptions about women's leadership abilities and impede their advancement in male-dominated business cultures. Balancing work and family life is the second one, is the second barrier. Women often have a balance work and family responsibilities, which can limit their career development. Compared to men, women generally take on more responsibility for childcare and household chores. The third one, the third barrier is the lack of access to professional networks. Business networks are often dominated by men and the necessary mentorship and sponsorship opportunities may be limited for women. And the, and the other barrier, unequal pay and promotion opportunities. Women may face situations they do not receive equal pay for equal work and have limited opportunities for promotion. This can reduce women's motivation to reach leadership positions. And the other barrier is corporate culture and policies. Some company cultures and policies may consciously or unconsciously prefer male leaders which can hinder women's advancement. The other one, the other barrier is perceptions of leadership style. Women's leadership styles can sometimes be labeled as not aggressive enough or too emotional, which can unjustly question women leaders' decisiveness and competence. And the other barrier is education and development opportunities. Education and professional development opportunities are not equal for women in all religions, in all regions, sorry. Some women may be deprived of educate education and development opportunities due to gender inequality. And the other barrier is resistance to gender quotas. These codes and similar policies designed to increase the number of women leaders can sometimes be met with negativity by male employees and even some women. And this and the other internal, uh, the barrier is internal limitations. This is, uh, this can be psychological barriers, including internal limitations, such as imposter syndrome. I am not enough, I am not successful, that can make it difficult for women to step into leadership roles. And the other barrier is lack of diversity and inclusion. 
a lack of diversity and inclusion in companies can lead to inadequate support for women leaders. Overcoming these barriers requires a comprehensive process that involves the collaboration of individuals, organizations, and societies. Various strategies such as structural changes, awareness campaigns, and training programs can be implemented to support women leaders. With the impact of artificial intelligence and technology, it's not the idea of gender discrimination that matters, but rather the utilization of strengths has become even more important. Collaboration and efficiency have become more significant. The use of power is fundamental and the work, whatever it may be, must be done in the best way with respect. respect. In the business world, research should be examined and the financial outcomes must be clearly understood. Only in this way can we develop the country's economy in unity what success requires. The success of companies is the success of sectors in business life, in business world, and countries. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.